no trading, no using the trading post, and just for fun, let's stay PvP flag the entire time. You guys will definitely want to see the end of this one, so I hope that you all enjoy episode 12 of the PvP only Iron Man. Well, I've been hard at work in OPR, getting as many matches as I can in and slowly getting that gear score up, doing chest runs in between as well. And yeah, gear's looking a lot better as time goes on. And I managed to pick up something really nice, a champion's ring. This is basically the best ring for just any generic PvP build. Of course, if you want to run something more specialized, it's better. But yeah, this is such a big drop for me because it works for so many different setups. And here's where my gear is sitting at so far. Um, weapons, really nice. Putrid Fishbone, really good. Sonic Sword, awesome too. The armor could definitely use some improvements. This is pre the Shirking Fortification nerf, so Shirking Fortification still the way to go at this time. 474 legs still, yeah, not amazing, but at least all the weapons and jewelry are gold. And I'm using the Buttercream Pudding food, which is the event food from one of the winter events. And the Cannon Heart Rune definitely needs to be upgraded, so that is next on my list. And since that winter event is finally over, I'm going to spend the rest of my tokens on various different patterns. I already stocked up on the winter food, so yeah, really happy with the supplies I got from this event. Golden Scarab, not really something I can do anything with right now, but hey, I'll take two. And 600 Fire Staff, very nice. One more Outpost Rush crate, and would you look at that, complete garbage. PvP reward tracks, on the other hand, I can't complain. Supplicant Shoes, that is a nice drop, and uh, I can actually upgrade that one to gold. <laughs> In between those OPRs, I am making sure to grind as many chest runs as I can, and here I managed to pick up the Tier 5 Mining Food and the Tier 5 Arcana Food. Look at this, T5 strength and intel food. That's something I can work with. Ha! Got he! <laughs> well, I'm out here grinding some low-level corruption portals to try to get the materials I need to upgrade my cannon and try to get a little bit of territory standing in Everfall and Windsward. I'm in Weaver's Fen right now, but I've been rotating the different portals in these three areas. But I'm getting closer to my standing in Everfall, and I would really, really like that house upgrade. Okay, I don't even care. It is taking so long to grind this standing here. I'm just going to buy a crappy house in Everfall for now. And as for upgrading my cannon, wow, that is a crazy grind. I am not even close yet. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the first named weapon that I've gotten from PvP tracks, and it's the fucking officer ceremony. Oh my god. This is literally the best PvP rapier that I will get my hands on for years. I don't even know. The, the only thing better is something I could craft, and I'm so far away from crafting my own weapons. Holy crap. Wow. We gotta test this out.
always making sure to get those chest runs in, there is the T5 skinning food. I gotta say, I'm getting pretty lucky with the crafting clothing drops from these world bosses. Yeah, chef's shirt, definitely not bad at all. And Bergen's Gaze from the reward track, I am just getting excellent loot from these rewards. Yeah, not gonna use it now, but great for later. So, I really like this Greatsword Rapier build. I have the 19th Legion Greatsword at the moment, which is definitely not bad, but I would like to get an upgrade. The Fighter's Blade, I think, would be perfect for this build, and it is dropped by a boss named Kilgoran in Ebonscale Reach. A few moments later. Oh my god, it's another Raffle Bones. Neat. And the Unrelenting Mercy Round Shield from the boss. Not what I'm looking for, but hey, it's a drop. Opening up a few more OPR crates, and look at that, a Golden Fire Staff. Vicious Refreshing Pillar of Fire, keenly empowered. That is actually a good staff. Well, I've been grinding for not even two hours here, and there we go, Fighter's Blade in my pocket, and I guess it's time to look for some more PvP. Well, I'm just out here minding my own business, trying to get some more faction quests done, and what do you know, I run into a group of four green players, and these guys have been chasing me hard. I've been fighting them quite a lot. I think I managed to down one of them, but uh, yeah, tough fight, and they're putting a lot of pressure on me. So I'm chugging those consumables, and this terrain here is not bad at all. I can get some good LOS, definitely prevent a lot of range damage. Um, not that a lot of these guys are rocking too much range damage. It looks like two of them using Void Gauntlet. So yeah, just getting those slaps in with the Greatsword, doing my best to try not to die. And yeah, I guess it was just a matter of time. But you guys know me, I don't give up that easily. The respawn is right there, and I'm here for round two. This time, I decide to attack them. That's right, you aren't welcome in my neighborhood, thinking you can just come around here and attack solo players. And that's it for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you want to catch me live, there's a link to my Twitch down below. If you have an awesome clip you want to see on the top five, send that to Christopher at pvpnewworld.com. And of course, check out my website, pvpnewworld.com, for written guides to this build and so many more. A quick shout out to our sponsor, ExpressVPN, keeping you safe on the internet. And you can get a sweet deal with your first purchase with the link down below. And of course, a massive thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Whether you support now, whether you've supported in the past, thank you guys so much for helping out. I hope that you guys all enjoyed. Have a great night, everybody, and I'll see you next time.